what's up guys for this week we have the long awaited Karaka as well as the 100th day celebration but this is just to prepare us for the actual celebration now moving on to pretty much the focus of this week uh, we have the research journal for Karaka to we'll make sure we get through with going through this we're gonna have all the rewards we're going to have to end up eventually getting this we also have the seven day login for 100 day here and i will go into the summon so just straight out the bat you don't want to pull for karaka 100 percent you want to still pull into albelda this is your last week you don't have her you need her you want to pull for dupes or you want to pull for anything period just you have an itch pull for albelda don't go for karaka and I'm going to go into the reason why. Now, as for Karaka himself, he is a PvP only unit. For now, that just means Ranker Wars. In the future, we're going to have the actual global PvP. It's just a horrible time frame to release him. He would have had more value when White wasn't in the game. I feel like he could have been a potential carry since you only really had Yon and Ron was a unit that you had to just get RNG lucky for. He hasn't had his own banner. So after Yon, Karaka would have probably been a good pick to max out and use as an active DPS. But his best qualities is he's just pretty much a melee range unit. As in he's going to be right in front of the enemy's physical. Um, but he's also a magic damage unit. So it's like a lot of quirks. But the thing about him is he was supposed to be the first unit to get CC immunity in the game. And he's also the first unit to get his skill 1 to reset whenever he would use a skill too but these are only things at a higher transcendence so like i've been saying before you don't want karaka you don't need him you have to get him t6 to use him in my opinion i would not even suggest you to go any lower than max because you're not going to get the value out of him and he's just a unit you don't necessarily need you're not going to see him outside of PvP. Maybe in Tower of Hardship or certain fights, you can probably bring him on. Um, he does have a great amount of burst damage, but where he's going to shine is he's just going to have a lot of damage reduction in PvP. It's going to annoy the back line. That's where his primary focus is going to be. I just feel like he is in an awkward situation right now when we just had Elbelda and White Drop. And in Korea, he was supposed to be released before all that. So I'm not, I don't want to go too into the kit. Only for that reason. But I think he's probably a top tier PvP unit. Everywhere else, he's pretty average. You just don't need him. We're in the point of the game where you do not need any new units up until Enryu. So just keep that in mind for what you're summoning. You want to just go for white and i'll build the dupes even if they end up rerunning and they're still not maxed out for you or only safe for enryu before we get into the pulls though i just wanted to go over certain things so i did go through some refines i don't have great news so i i refined the cooldown for the boots i could only get them blue and it did take a lot of refined stones to see it so, uh, and I must say that my damage has not improved, nothing has changed. Like, this was a useless and random refine. I think you need it to be at purple for you to actually notice the difference, because 2% is not much. I also got the same thing for the chest, but, you know, four, like it's still less than 4% combined. Still not noticing the difference, so you probably both have to be purple for you to actually notice something. Then you get at least an 8% uh, cooldown reduction in total. And I also went for this because the ignition damage boost, having a purple would boost Sachi and Bomb's damage for admin, which I need. I went through all that, still couldn't get it. I am down to 103 refines. I'm just saving it. My plan is to try and get more legendary weapons and just refine them all. I don't think it's good enough for me to do this. So if anything, I might go for the tower climber magic weapon. And try to roll for the EX or some other refines on there because yeah it's kind of ridiculous but at the end of the day if it's not a tier 3 legendary it can't compete against the maxed out t6 purple uh and i'm still going to just go for t6 on 
white's weapon before that. Maybe I'll just stop at T4 if I have another weapon in mind. But I don't need the freedom weapon transcended. It's don't like I don't have any freedom units I'm really using besides our builder and she doesn't need the damage boost. So until Enryu comes out, I don't need to focus on this wand. But this week we got lots of things. So I hit level 200 yesterday. So I do have a random ignition weapon summon ticket. I can do a video later. And then I also saved the limited pack. So there is a pack for level 200. Honestly, it does not look great. I mean, because the diamond itself is literally for the value. Well, you get 30 starlights, 30 epic gift boxes kind of high and you get 30 summons not the best value but i'm stupid so we're doing it and then finally with this week most important change is they added the tower of trial 300 conqueror pack so there are two versions of, the, of this pack i don't know why so I'm glad that I get the better one because this one guarantees a legendary character. But there is one that gives you two epic or legendary character tickets. And I just believe that that is region based. It could even be a difference in a state. I know people in like New York and New Jersey region get the same one I'm getting with a legendary character summon ticket guaranteed. But some other states will just get the other one. And I don't know what that is. You'd have to contact support to figure it out. I feel like this is amazing value. Because not only are you getting 40 summons as well with the diamonds, but you're also getting a guaranteed legendary. I wish this was the... This should have been the monthly pack. This is what the monthly pack should be. Guarantee the legendary unit. Doesn't matter who it is. Now moving on to the shop. So I, we have great expectations for the 100th day anniversary. Only because they're giving out 100 blues for 20, which is like fantastic. They're probably going to give out reds next week. Um... Typical stuff to expect. No growth packs this week. Dailies. I got weeklies. I got these monthlies that I'm still going to hold off on. I feel like they're just going to throw a curveball with this 100th uh, day summon. So We got the hideout profile frame, which actually looks good. And then Karaka pack. So this week, I feel like there's less packs. There's a great thing. You have the relay over here. This guarantees you a legendary summon ticket. And this gives you... A ignition weapon. So it's kind of crazy how the, the, like it was like this is so good, twenty dollars for a legendary. But then the weapons are always so much more of a price. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get a bunch of pulls going for everyone. Got to restock after all. All right, all the event packs are cleared up. No growth packs. And we got the dailies. Now dailies, I actually switched up on it. I'm only doing the summon package and the gold package. I actually stopped doing the faith and the upgrade stones. Mostly because it's just not worth it. I don't really need them anymore. I have I have more than enough faiths for now. I'm just really missing Starlight. Shinsu reinforcement I feel like is just such a scam. It is not worth the gold into the power. If it's the last thing you need, sure. But I feel like Shinsu reinforcement just gives you so little power for so much gold. Not worth it. Gear upgrading as well. Once you get a piece of gear to 25, you can go for the extra stats after that. But it's also just a huge gold sink at that point. And you're probably going to want to get skills maxed out before you ever do that. I mean, it, it's such a random thing. So I don't need those packs anymore. So I only get these two. We're making progress, guys. That's two less packs a day, all right? <laughs> uh, weekly packs, though. I would almost say the same exact thing. Where I would only get the weekly for rice pot, summon, gold. Upgrade stone and skill book. Probably would not. But then again, when you look at it, it's much better just to get the weeklies. The skill books, you can't get the week, the dailies, but upgrade stone-wise, you're just better off getting the weeklies over the daily. Gives you way more for it. But I think weeklies, I'll probably still stick with all of them for now. Yeah, I still think it's a much better value than the dailies. There, so all the packs are done. Monthlies, I still don't need right now. So I'm going to hold on. 
18 packs coming in this week. Oh, this shop actually has request renew tickets, but oh my sweet Jesus Christ. They are one for 100k. That is never gonna happen. I have to make sure I grab my Starlights from Family Coin, because that's like the only way to get them. I can get some more of these pieces. Then I go into the God's Bread, so I got the weekly gift boxes for Epics right now. Only thing to pretty much stockpile in. And I have to also get the rare gifts. Don't forget the soul stones that give you the gift boxes every week as well. And that's it. So I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to just be disappointed with the tickets now? Or do I want to just do my summons and then hopefully get really good tickets afterwards? I have to also sort through my inventory. I've just been doing admin and a lot of things and I've just left my rewards here. So uh, we're going to go through everything. Let's just do the pulls first. I also forgot to say, I'm not going to be getting Karaka's Ignition Weapon. Um, it is good because it boosts his damage uh, after using a Shinsu skill for the effect. Plus you get, you know, stats for getting his Ignition Weapon up. But he's someone that doesn't need his Ignition Weapon. You can just use the Fug Family. I'm going to use the Fug Family because it's at T2. And it is also going to give Karaka more damage reduction. Which I value him living longer being in melee range than... You know, him doing more damage. I think he's going to be very squishy. Um, so I want him to survive as long as possible. So I'm not going for his weapon. I'm skipping that. But I am going for T6. So we're praying for good fortune. Alright, I got to do blue summons first. So um, let's go into this. We got 163 blue. Very quickly, they also managed to sneak Jin Sung Ha into the actual blue summons. So, this was like soap on the bottom of the patch notes that a lot of people probably didn't notice that. But now, you have a chance of getting Jinsung from regular summons. Eventually, every unit is going to be in a blue summon. I'm having high hopes, alright? It's going to be a good day. I haven't summoned in a while. I have faith. Right here, we're going to get my boy Ron. Get Daniel. Alright, never ends. Like, I swear. I don't know how many legendaries there are in the game. But I keep getting the same damn ones. Uh, also, eventually, every single unit will be in the blue summon pool. Even white and Albel, though. I guarantee you, when they when they're, like, fall off from the meta and they're not as valuable, they're going to be dropped off. I get uh, the wrong one, but okay. Taking legendaries at this point back-to-backs, we get Rock. That's good, because I don't even have MT6 yet. He, him and Ron are, like, the only two units that I'm still missing for T6. So, uh... Let's get it. Okay, Urek. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, I forgot Urek too. That is T6 Urek. That is like fantastic. I like, I love my life right now. Oh my god, we're actually getting a lot of blues. What is this? Oh, Jin Sung's ignition weapon, because I don't even have that. Uh, yeah, so that's great. I finally got that. Will I use him? Use it over the Fug Family one? I would say maybe, but I'd miss out on the defense stats from that one. Although I would get a 2% more damage increase. I think 120 defense outweighs that though. 2% is nothing. So that was cool. Okay. Did not expect that. Alright. That was actually went pretty good for the amount of blues. And just to check into it. But it's also kind of decent to get the collection effect for ignition weapons I suppose. Because just for getting them T0 or just having them, you're going to get stat boosts. So, uh, yeah, I'm missing 4, which would give me HP up, defense, damage boost, and attack. But in the long run of things, it's unnecessary. Um, yeah, I think I would still just rather not have them. And save my summons for units over the weapons. I'll just get the weapons eventually. But you can see here. We can actually go over Karaka's thing. So, so his gives 8% damage increase. With the 40% attack speed. I have actually only T1 on this. 
and it would give me HP, not defense. But it is giving a 9% decrease in incoming damage taken. So I, I just value that for Karaka. I also actually forgot, but this month we have our good season pass. And I really just need it. Uh, I really just want to get Ron T6. So stacking this stuff, I think by next season pass, I might be able to get him T6. Hopefully. So one more month. I have to just get that season pass real quick. Third of claim. Oh, we get another. No, yeah, that's not even level three. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. I pray to God I T6 them easy. I don't want to go through this. I mean, I have 568 reds. I have 61k diamonds. I'm trying to stack right now. I'm trying to stack, and then I can finally calm down with this game and not take it as seriously. Because right now after Karaka. It's supposed to be Summer Yon, Zhao Zhao, and probably Kranos Yuriha. But after that, it's just like Santa Huay run, so we don't know what the schedule's like. It kind of makes sense that they'll be dropping things in between. But let's go into this. Let's just pray. Pray for easy legendaries. Please, game. Let's go. Karaka right now. Get Evan. Oh, Evan's someone I don't have T6, actually. I think that might be my last one, because I had him T5. Okay, so that's great. I finished Uric, I finished Evan in this video. Let's go, guy. You know, I'm playing cat. I'm, I'm like, Ash, catch him over here. You gotta lose for 30 years to finally win a championship, but hey, eventually we're gonna catch them all, right? Okay, that's gonna be Karaka guaranteed. I don't know why I was like getting surprised. I'm like, oh, who could it be? <laughs> Is it Enryu? No, like, I was on the guaranteed. So I need six now. God, I hate pulling in this game. It's just like, it gives me like a uneasy anxiety attack okay that's rock i don't know if that's t6 rock 2 now we're gonna check though but i just need easy legendaries game please it makes me so uneasy to pull it's because you can get really really screwed if you double pity every single time on the way to a t6 and i just don't want that to happen so that's the first dupe Come on, game, please don't do me dirty. Karaka. Karaka, thank god. Okay, that's tier two. Come on. Win 50-50s, please. That's why I run. She's already maxed. So that's three levels for probably Viol. I think I want to just stick with Viol. Come on, game. Please be easy. Plus three. Okay, I got 289 for three more. Why is it stuck? Can't press OK. Right, I had to back out. Okay, yeah, it kind of glitched out, so I have to go back. Raka. Oh, that's Evan's weapon. Okay. I think that might be his weapon T3, though. It's pretty good. I'm loving the pulls today, honestly. It's been fantastic. Like, the blues, the legendaries have been on point. Raka 4, we got 226 left. Okay, I can't press OK. For some reason, so I have to just back out. And please, guys, don't pull for Karaka if you're not maxing him. That's like the best advice I can give you right now. Because you just need to have him T6 or don't. He is getting a buff in Korea. I don't know what it is. I don't know if we got the buff version. Probably didn't. Okay, I got Verity. Oh, wait, she's not maxed? Hold up. I could have sworn I had Verity maxed. So now I'm even surprised. Okay, Karaka T5. We have 145 left. Please just do it with the reds I have left. Like, I just want to not use diamonds. Yes, Karaka. Evan. Okay, Evan's maxed now. So that, that confirms that. Please. I mean, either way, like, I'm going to get him without running out of reds. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think I still went about the average. More or less, I think it was 500. So we got Karaka T6 now. I'm happy with that. I didn't have to use my diamonds. But they live to last another day. Now, let me do my tickets before we go into the transcend. Alright, so going through my bags, I have a bunch of things to go through. Let's do these daily summon tickets that never give anything.
Nope, still nothing. Then I have all... I have Rancor Wars chests, so, uh... Best thing you can get is the Royal pieces. Which I want for God's inventory. I actually did get Royal Boots, so I'll take that. But the Expert chest... I got the Low Grade chest. I got these eight... Oh, actually, wait, I'm gonna save all the Rice Pot things because I am expecting to go 350. But if I was to use them, it'd be 26 mil for those, and it would be two, about 2 mil for that. Let me go through all the chests from admin, though. I saved up two white admins and just the red ones, so you guys will get to see. Am I going to get lucky and get some legendary equipment or e armors? Nice. <laughs> like, I was honestly so disappointing. I was kind of hoping for it, but no. Alright, whatever. Ooh! That's the Fug Helmet, which is garbage. I mean, I'll keep it. I'm not going to dismantle it, only because it's a very, 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 very late game thing. But when they have tier 2 helmets or tier 3 helmets, you need to get this maxed out anyway. That, that whole system gets ridiculous, though. When we get that gear upgrade system... We have to have a full max team 1 legendary to get a tier 2 or tier 3 legendary, whatever. Then fully transcend that one and then get a tier 5. It's like a ridiculous system. Like, that is like... That is just fucked up, honestly. <laughs> but the weapons are more important. I, I think the weapons... I'd much rather get weapons than anything. Than armors. I'm not gonna get shit, am I? Damn. They did me like that. Alright, that is what it is. I can craft transcension stones though. I can make one weapon transcend stone, I need four. So that's kind of a shame. But this is the real thing. I think I'd rather do I think I do ignition weapons first because I don't care about the weapons, but I care about the characters. Do I do it one by one or do I do it both? Um I'll just Oh I'll just do it both, honestly. I just rather rip the band-aid off with these things. So we get Beta's weapon. And I get... Oh! Kasano's weapon, finally. No, it's not even Kasano's weapon. That's <laughs> Daniel's weapon. Okay. The, uh, yeah, I was just hoping for new ones. I just want to get them all for the stats. That's good. Alright, not a legendary unit. So, please, for the life of Christ that is almighty. No. God. Just... Alright, well, I mean, what am I going to expect when you have, like, every unit in the game, right? It's, like, dupes 99% of the time. So let's go through everything now. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any more runs, and um, I think I would probably still just Destiny card him. Because if I finish this Battle Pass, I can get... T5, which would make a, a pretty decent increase, although his guaranteed critical hit rate is just nuts for the EX. So, uh, I'd probably still do Destiny cards, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. Can't even get him T6 or even T5 right now unless I rush the pass. Didn't realize I had Verdi T5 the whole time, so now I have her T6. Then we got Rock T6 now, too. So I had him T2 like maybe two weeks ago, and uh, now we're gonna get him T6 in preparation for Anox. So, well, Anok and his, you know, bond amplification stuff, which is probably gonna be out in a month's time. I, I'm expecting. The Rock is T6. Urek is gonna be T6, and this is like the biggest difference because. I don't know, I might use him in PvP over Jinsung. I'm gonna see how it works out, but the instant taunt off the rip is like insane. So I don't have him that worked on. I have to really get his skills up, but if I could get him all to 10. Let me see, he's got 6,400 defense, and Jinsung has 7,300 though, so like. I don't know, but I don't think I don't think I need to survive long enough. I just think I need that instant taunt CC. We're gonna see, we're gonna mess around with it. And I get Evan T6 as well, so that's huge. Because it gives additional 200 defense on his EX, so... 
Yeah, I mean, that's great. Uh, honestly, this is great. I got all the units pretty much T6 now besides Ron, and it just sucks because he's the one I've been wanting the most. After Sachi, I've been wanting and needing to get Ron Mac, and um, it's just not been happening. I'm also hoping for one more ignition weapon so I can use my blacksmith card and T6's weapon T6 him. Because he is still great. I think he's better than Yon when he's actually worked on. But, I don't know. I don't, I don't think anyone has invested into Ron as much as a Yon to really compare. But I feel like at double max, he is probably better than her. And then we got Karaka. Been waiting for so long. My only downside with him is that he's a scout. Kind of sucks. And he's magical damage based too, as a melee unit. So I don't like that either. I was hoping he'd be physical so he can get the EX charge. But yeah, we need to get him stats. Um, I don't have a... I don't have a scout weapon. So this is... Hmm. He's only going to get a 14% damage increase. If I give him a magical weapon. But he would get a fuck damage boost still. From this, and he would get the EX skill gauge up. So honestly, I think I can actually keep this. But alright, and then we gotta give him the ignition weapon, so... Yeah, only missing three, and I really don't want to push for it. So, we're going for the Fug Wand. Now we get the beautiful art as well. I actually love this art. Like, his ignition weapon art is beautiful. Then we can go for the transcend. So, and like I keep reminding you guys in this video, don't pull for him unless you're maxing him out. Don't, if even if you can get T5, don't go for him. It's max or nothing with this dude. And I'm telling you that. You don't want to spend for him and then be so disappointed. So we have a T6, and I guess funny, unfunnily enough, there's no rebate for him. Now Belda still has her Transcend support event, but they didn't do it for Karaka, so it's kind of weird that they're picking and choosing who to give it to. It's like White could have used this. If anything, this should be a permanent thing. It should be for every single unit. There should be a Transcend event. Getting 100 reds back? For getting a unit T6 is like the best thing that they could do. Because that brings down the average even less when you just get a refund back. It would make it a lot more bearable for free to plays as well. Because just for getting the unit, you get them back. It's like this is such a positive thing in the game. Why is this not for every single unit? Like that is horrible. We're going to the fates now. They added Karaka to first storm bomb. Um yeah, I had to reset me saying because my fates were so maxed out, I actually could not even, uh, I couldn't even get my daily for using 10 fate gifts, so I have to actually reset one unit. But considering I'm pushing today, I will get everyone up for the power aspect. I have a lot of fates right now, I should probably use up the... Actually, I'll just speed through all this because it will take some amount of time.
there we have it so i ended up finishing this off i think with a full reset could probably max first storm bombs fate skill to 60 now uh because when i did this last time without karaka i got to 58 and i feel like now with the karaka reset or with karaka added i can probably get to 60. i'm not going to do that though that's like ridiculous <laughs> to waste I don't know, two, three thousand diamonds just to get one red and eight rare bookmarks. It's like, I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, but I am going to finish off everyone else to 20. Just to get the stat boosts from that. And then I think I'll start pushing for... I mean, at that point, I just got to go for all 25s too. I'm just going to keep everything balanced. Um, but with the all 25s, I might prioritize legendaries since i'll be actively using them and you know the next affinity grade boost is just giving the actual characters stats so i'm going to be prioritizing the units i'll be using at that point it's going to be a while though i think i need another 100 starlights just to finish off this i need 30 i need 45 starlights just for these to be all 20 and then you need at least 25 to just go up to 25 for someone else but uh yeah i mean Urek would be a contender to put it towards, or Ron if I get him maxed out by then. Even maybe Hansung because I'm using him Karaka. It, the list goes on and on at that point. At that point, every legendary is going to need 25. My power shot up to 865k actually. And that was from 850. So you can see that here, I was 850k. Went to 865k just from all those fates. That's why it's important to get every fate to 20. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I can't wait to keep going with this. Maybe I can hit 900k by next week's video, hopefully. I know that the layer system will give me at least 5 to 10k power. So I should be 870k minimum by the end of today. And then I just have the ignition weapons to go through. So nice, I get a T3 for beta. Oh, at least it counts towards the collection. And I get T4 for Evan. So that's good. Now I have fusions as well. Praying that we can get some more legendaries. Especially the ones I don't have. Wow, my gold ran down to 2 million. Jesus Christ, I didn't even realize that. All right, now we're at the purples, so I pray to God, please. Come on, legendaries. Okay, oh my God. Beta, okay, family. That's that tower climber family weapon. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that's Ron. That's T5 Ron and Fug Wand and Urex weapon. Oh my God, that was great. Okay, that was great. Got five weapons from all the fuses. Now, I don't have the gold. Uh, <laughs> like that's funny but okay urex is t4 betas is t4 this will be t2 and the wand will be t2 so i'm gonna go for the family ones first i could oh this is such a thing but no i mean like i could blacksmith card it to get the ignition time increase but no i'm saving it for this because this t5 ron and with the next one, he gets the 30% attack speed boost. So, oh man, I want to just do this right now. I don't even want to wait. But I don't want to miss out on the gold from the rice pot. So I'm going to have to save it. You might see it in the same video. Or if not, it's just going to be done by the next one. Because I don't know if I can clear through 50 rice pot levels that fast before I edit out this video. I'm on limited time today. But that was great. Like, honestly, today the pulls have been amazing. The fusions have been amazing. I had to have gotten a few things for the collection effect now. So I think it was just mostly. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I know I got one or two up in C3. I think it was just the beta I did. So that have given me damage resist. 
in two more weapons I could get the damage boost but yeah I'm missing quite a lot ignition weapons are just rough they're very rough that boosted me another 3k power so now I went to 868k and with residents I'll be over 870k Luna coming in clutch right now because I, I just remembered I can get the King's Order gold rewards. So we're going to get all this and I can hopefully get my last two weapons going. Let's get all this gold. We also get the rewards for first place. I just still don't get how the rewards work, but I just don't care anymore. <laughs> like, I'm seeing everybody with a first place trophy, so I find it hilarious. I'm actually going to change this, so... Oh, I mean, I should change my name. I don't know what to put my name to. I hate that I have the X at the end of it, but... You know, someone took my name, and the next thing you know, they're not even playing the game, so I love it. Um, I love this out... I love this border. But honestly, I'm really liking the new Lair one, so I'm going to switch it to that. That's what I wanted my profile to be. I wanted it to be Karaka from the start. I didn't even realize it, but the buff effect thing that used to be on the menu is now into this section. So, we get these back. Get the defense and crit resist up for PvE. Uh, I got these golds to claim from the Hansung event still. And I will have this too. That could actually give me a little bit more starlights to get my stuff going up. Oh yeah, I got, the, I got this actually right now for the summons, so we can do that. So I, I guess I'll take the extra multi right now. I guess I'll take the starlight so I can just do this on video. And um, yeah, the rest doesn't really matter because I, I'm not gonna use this for more gold right now. So I'll just save that. I'm gonna get the Karaka tickets tonight. So one last thing in the fates, we're just gonna go for doesn't even matter. I gotta just go for a legendary. Let's just give it to Hansung because he's been he's been clutch. Could also increase my power just a little bit. So wow, yeah, the 3k alone just for that. So it's at 871k power now. So now I have 8 million gold, and I'm not going to transcend this weapon right now, because God forbid I'm pulling I'm pulling next week or whatever. Probably going to pull next week. I pull like every week. And they're going to give me like Ron's weapon for the sixth time. So I'm going to save this. When I get Ron T6, then I'll get this weapon regardless. And if I get a dupe, so be it. You know, whatever. It is what it is at that point. Seven million left after this. Have to level up his skills, so let me get that done real quick. I'm gonna just go everything to ten. I think that's more than enough for now. And then just the standard ignition to four. So, hmm, this is kind of rough. Um, probably want to go for the EX then, because with the 60% up, he's going to just rush the back line. I also don't have enough gold to really go too far into it. So I think it's probably a choice of EX and passive. And probably S1. I mean, I feel like his skills are just balanced can't really prioritize one over the other. I feel like you're just going to level them all up pretty evenly. But for now, we'll just leave it at the way it is. I like to get them all 11s if possible. And then we'll just leave them at 11. The so Karak is at 156, 158k power. He's got 7k defense. I mean, he's pretty tanky. Let me just take a look at what he can do. So now I can ditch your aha. Uh -huh.
Man, his fucking design is gorgeous. Like, I love it. We're gonna put Karaka there. Got the tier 3 pet. I think everything else can stay. The only thing I can think of is putting Urek for Jinsung. But Jinsung gets to 60%, has higher stats, way more power. Like, I don't know. I feel like Jinsung's still the way. But I'll mess with it more. But let's see what Karaka can do. It's gonna be hard to focus on Karaka. He's got Urek, probably T6. No, I don't think I saw the taunt. There's so many particle effects on the screen that I, don't, I can't see shit. I can't tell what's going on. But I don't know. Karaka gets my thumbs up either way. I love him. Call me biased. I don't care. I love Karaka. But he's just a unit you have to T6 or nothing. Purely for PvP. That's all he's going to be for is rank rewards. Actually, not just rank rewards. I'll probably use him for Tower of Hardship over Kasano too, I think. Only because my Kasano's kind of not worked. Actually, no, I could use Kasano and him. Because uh, I can just replace Reflejo. I'm going to save my team, even though my power... Well, do I save my team? My power is going to probably go up. I don't think it matters, right? Like, I'm first in Arena, or first in Rank Awards right now. By like a 100k gap, so pretty difficult for me to lose. So I've been saving these. I have nine keys. I could probably get a tenth right now. I have enough tower keys for this. But time is of the essence, my friends. So we're gonna go for this. Still didn't get the next area. I've been actually clearing five out of five with this setup. So it's been working out. Just pretty much need two carries for this one and um really bulky stats. I really want to get a legendary weapon for tower climbers. But that's something I'll do maybe after the video is over, we'll see. I'll quickly just show the team to you guys how it works, and then after the first fight, you're just gonna see the rewards. Hopefully, I get a lot of blue eggs because that's. I need to start going for purple pets now. Purple pets, the next goal. I'm gonna finally start using those element socket things on them. Are you kidding me? That's actually embarrassing. I can't believe I didn't kill him. That was like some bad RNG. Oh, it's because El Bell designation is on. I didn't even notice it was on. That was just barely happening. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch the heal. I'm gonna switch the fate skills to be like this. I think it's better. Much better. I don't know how. Like last time I was doing this, it was working very well. But now we can just go into the rewards.
Well, that's the end of all the keys and not a single blue egg. Well, those were all the keys and not a single blue egg. Got 15 greens, 25 commons. It is what it is. So I think next week I can actually get the purple pumpkin. It'd be a pretty big power boost because it gives 1200 hit points. And that's like a real stat inflation. Um, but yeah, the problem is the gold as well. So I'd have to go, go through 2 millions for the greens and then 7 millions for the blues and then 18 million for the purple. Quite expensive, but stats do add up. Here are some clips that were outside of the initial recording. Did manage to get some more blue summons, so I put through those and I did get a Hansung dupe. So that's another Shinsu Soul. Can get me another level for someone. I did go for another multi, just in case I could get another legendary. But it did not work out. Then this was my monthly login. I can't remember if, I think it's the third month. The third time I think I got the legendary character summon ticket. Got me another rock dupe. It's kind of funny. I had him T2 for the longest. And now in the last three weeks I've pulled him like five times or six times. It's kind of how luck works. That's why I feel like second I use all my resources to get Ron maxed out and his weapon. You're just going to see her non-stop dropping. But it's like they say, you know, when, when, it, when it rains it pours kind of situation with gotcha games for me. Then I did also have the epic character summon ticket. I'm holding on to that. I doubt they're going to ever put Hawakin into that pool, but I don't need purples. So at this point, they're just all stacked up there. Then I have the Shining Souls. So I have eight of them. I am just going to use five more right now. This will allow me to give Viol to plus 10. Um, I don't want to go for the plus 15 because it's going to start taking two souls apiece. I'd much rather get a bunch of units of plus 10 than to miss out on the levels. I just don't know who to go for next. I could go for Bomb, since I use him for admin, or I could go for Sachi just to raise him up, since he's someone I also use for admin. Maybe Bong Bong to the future. So it is the next day. I did end up getting 350 right spot pretty easy. Love the new scenery change. Power went up to 882k, getting close to level 204. My apologies for getting to the lair up at the end of the video. But I wanted to better understand this feature before I put any kind of information out for it. So in Korea, it's called Lair. Um, that's what I'm going to still call it. I think it's a much better name than Hideout. But there's a few things. So resident collection wise, I'm going to have a post on the screen. You want to go clear through these story stages on auto and it will end up giving you the residents. Then you can end up claiming the rewards here. Some of them give you image rewards, items, summons. Others will also give you stats that increase your power. So if you get all of the residents you can obtain at the moment, it will give you at least 5,000 power. And you can get more residents to transcend them throughout this patch. But you pretty much just have to clear a bunch of stages between chapter 1 all the way up to chapter 6. You can get all the residents... I just cleared every single stage one by one, but there is actually a list where you can just pinpoint the exact stage and follow that. Moving on to the rest of the lair functions. So we do have the buffs hidden over here now, if you'd like to see any of the trophies. Now it is important that you do place the unit who you want to increase your affinity with. So if you have the starlight to upgrade someone but don't have enough gifts, you can place them here. And every single day you're going to be able to claim affinity to help boost that unit's faith. Um, the resident, I'm not sure if there's any kind of bonuses or anything matter right now. I don't believe it is, so you could just put whoever you'd like. And I accidentally took them off. Now, relics are very important. So, I'm going to talk more about it when I go through dispatches. But you do want to maintain a full set just for the set bonus can see on the bottom right here the set effects so there's a damage boost damage resist attack speed physical damage magic damage and crit damage set i feel like attack speed is very important as well as damage boost um the only issue is a damage boost is a really low percentage and attack speed starts off at five percent so eventually you'll be able to fuse these relics to get higher tiered qualities and that's how you get the higher sets 
But for now, these are the relics I went with, and I'd suggest people to aim for fishermen. Uh, Preference-wise, you could pick, you know, crit damage set, damage boost set, even, I guess, physical damage, but you'd like to have things that affect all your units. So I did end up choosing the... Well, I guess I didn't even choose, but I did dispatches to receive these. So my top flux is Fisherman Relic. It's going to give a damage boost for 5 seconds when using a skill 3 times for 2%. I think that's very good, considering White spams his skill 1. And this also counts for all the carries in the game, because they're all Fishermen. You have Yon, Ron, Bong Bong, White. So uh, up until Enryu, mostly going to be Fishermen that are carries. So I think that's that's a great one to actually obtain. Then the middle one for the Molex Fisherman is just going to be a 1.5% damage boost to regular boss monsters. Haven't been able to see too many different ones to know what else we can roll here. And then for the bottom one, uh, Juchion's Fisherman Relic increases attack speed with 3% for probability with a 3% probability, so 3% chance to increase attack speed when using a basic attack by 3% for 5 seconds. Didn't really have too many choices, but I chose the only one that was offensive that I have obtained. Because I did get two of the uh, defense boosts. But for my opinion, you should go for dispatches that prioritize fishermen relics and obtain a set even if it's not a tax. And then remember that you can access this hub by going through status. So you can greet to the characters and greet to the residents. This will end up giving you fish tank pieces to actually upgrade your guardian and is, a, is the way to get the character fate points to upgrade their fate. So upon going to the guardian now, you can see here that you're going to be able to have, if you have enough pieces, you can upgrade them. And this just acquire, it gives you more hourglasses per day, as well as the amount of experience you're getting from my spot. So it's a very key part of Lair. And once you get enough hourglasses, you can actually go to the very right side and upgrade the hideout. So the next level will upgrade the second floor, allowing you to put another person and another resident. And it will give you a little bit more affinity every single day. Eventually the layer goes up to a very high level. Because if you want to actually get the next set of relic slots. You have to be level 7 hideout and then level 13. So it's a very very end game function. But it's very good. You're also going to have requests. Now I don't know how it's going to work. I can't really check right now. Because I think I'm out of amounts. But I will have some footage to play over this but basically you're able to refresh with the tickets for now you can buy them from the shop for a hundred thousand coins each and i think it's really ridiculous but for now you are obtaining them through the daily mission shop take advantage of that i would suggest refreshing until you get the relics you want to just get that relic set bonus to obtain the effects obtain the bonus obtain the power from that it's not going to give you a direct power increase but you'll notice your damage going up from my relics alone, I've gotten almost a 4 million damage increase in Administrator alone. So I would say that just getting attack speed with all offensive related boosts will make a difference in battle. So just make sure you get your relics out the way. Then after you get the relics, you should probably go for unit transcensions. The reason why I say you should go for the resident trans transcendence is because you'll end up getting power. So... If you could get all these three wolf people, you'll start getting 6 attack to plus 9 attack. And this goes for all the units. Eventually, they'll just give you more and more stats. And this is simply by doing the dispatches, getting the duplicate will give you. So I would definitely say take advantage of dispatches for units or residents after you get all your relics sorted. Last but not least, guys, I only reached the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed everything. Honestly, I'm blown away with the amount of pulls that we've done and what we've obtained from it. I've been trying to finish out a lot of these units and now I'm only missing, I think, two units to get Transcend 6. And then we pretty much just wait for what's coming next. I don't really know what's going to be happening next. This is like the wild card now. Next unit that will drop after Baraka will just either be a Summer Yon out of nowhere or... Might be a Yuri Hawk Ranos or something completely different. So now we're going to be just waiting to see what happens, what direction the game is heading. Still don't have Hawakin anywhere outside of the story chapter. And I still have to actually go through story and just uh, progress. I think I could probably clear chapter 14 now if I just give it a shot. 
Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the delay. I've been really busy the last few days. I meant to get the video out a lot sooner. But until next time, guys, live Moss and stay free to play.